morning, welcome here to our Friday morning daily devotion where we continue to look at portions of the catechism. Today, continuing on looking at um, a section here in the table of duties to parents and to children. Our opening verses are going to be from the service of prayer and preaching in the Lutheran service book on page 260. So let's begin. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Sanctify us in your truth. Your word is truth. From the rising of the sun to the setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So our readings for today on um, to parents and to children. Our first reading comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, to parents. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, Bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Do not exasperate your children. Boy, at times that is easier said than done because children can be exasperating, can't they? But it says here that we're not supposed to to do that. And really what that means is we're not supposed to um, needlessly be harsh um, or condemning to them. Um, But instead... Um, that we are supposed to raise them up, bring them up in the training and the instruction of the Lord. So fathers, in particular, um, the parents, this is the, this is the duty of the Christian parents, is to raise your children, to see your love and trust in God above all things. That means, parents, it is your responsibility to bring your children to church. It is your responsibility to have devotions with your children. On a regular basis it is your responsibility to teach your children how to pray who Christ is and what he has done and historically parents it has been your responsibility to instruct your children in the basic foundational truths of the Christian faith most noticeably using that of the small catechism itself that's part of why we're doing this here today is to give you parents the tools that you need to be able to talk to your children about Christ, the Ten Commandments, the Creed, the Lord's Prayer, what is baptism, confession, the Lord's Supper. How do our different stations in life look according to God's will and God's word? So, parents, this is your responsibility. Now, granted, you cannot do everything at all times. You're not an expert on all these things. And so, we have parents we have authorities in the world as well you have school teachers who you send your children to to help assist in that learning but parents it is your responsibility to make sure that your children know how to read and write and do math Um, your teachers are assisting you in doing that Um, you have me your pastor you have sunday school teachers and the like who are here to proclaim god's word to teach the basic foundational truths of scripture but parents it is your responsibility to make sure that your children hear this that they know this that they come to church on a regular basis that is your responsibility so do not fail them and do not sin against the Lord and the third commandment by refusing to bring them take your children to church read the Bible with them pray with them tell them about Christ Now, children, from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 3, so the immediate verses um, right before this. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for that is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Children, you never outgrow your parents, which means even if you are 80 years old and your parents are 100, you still owe them the proper respect and honor of the position in which God has given them. 
for you. So we also then obey our parents in the Lord, for this is right. We have a whole commandment on this, to honor our father and our mother, to those who are in a position of authority above us or to simply respect our elders. You are to do this and you are to obey them and follow their direction and follow their guide, especially as they bring you up in the instruction of the Lord. So if there's any kids who are watching this, listen to your parents. There's old commandments on this. This is good, right, and salutary that we should do these kinds of things in all times and in every places. So do it because God has given you an incredible gift in loving parents who try to teach you the ways of the Lord. And this commandment also has this promise that's attached, that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. That's a pretty important commandment and a wonderful thing that God has given um, this to you. And life goes a lot easier when you honor and respect your parents. So I'd encourage you to continue in your love of the Lord and in the fulfillment of his commandments in this way. So let's continue now by, um, by offering up our prayers to our Lord. So let us pray. Blessed Lord, you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by the patience and comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no part of me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you.